Hi guys, it's Sophie. So today I'm going to be doing the first of my Man Booker International Book Reviews um, and the one I'm going to talk about today is Mirror Shoulder Signal by Direct Nors and this one was translated by Misha Hawkscra. So I'm going to do a brief sort of overview of the book and then go into my thoughts a little bit for you. Um, so this is a novel that is set in modern day Copenhagen um, about a woman who is in her 40s who is very detached from sort of society and from the people around her and um, she is sort of as a main plot point of this book trying to learn to drive um, and that symbolises a lot of her um, trying to take control of her life. Um, the writing isn't sort of in your face stellar um, sort of really poetic style which I normally really enjoy. Rather it's more sort of technically sharp, um, you almost forget your reading when you're reading um, which is actually quite an enjoyable experience. Um, and it kind of sweeps you along rather than you being um, sort of noticing the, noticing the words and noticing the language, you kind, it kind of fades away. Um, but I did quite enjoy that for what it was, um, as I say, sort of quite technically um, good. Now it's a very, it's a very lonely novel. Um, I think it'd be fair to say that like at its heart it's a lot about like isolation and um, loneliness in like large cities and in environments where there are lots of other people. So, so Sonia, who's our main character, as I say, she's she's trying to learn to drive. Um, she feels quite trapped by the fact she can't drive, um, but also has some serious doubts that she's ever going to be able to learn. Um, and she's quite disconnected from everyone, so she doesn't really have any friends, she doesn't have a partner, she, she's not really in contact with her family, she, she tries to get in contact with her sister but she doesn't really like talking to her um, and her two sort of main people in her life are her driving instructor and her and her massage therapist who sort, sort of tries to chill her out after her, her day to day um, sort of life, she translates um, like, like Scandinavian um, like crime fiction, like Swedish crime fiction into Danish. Um, I, in terms of what I thought about it, I think it was it was quite middling for me. So I gave it three stars. It's kind of a two and a half stars, really. Not because it's bad, and not because like there was anything particularly wrong with it, but it was it was almost like a like slow drip kind of pace throughout, and it's not something in which an awful lot really happens. Um, I did like how well it's kind of captured like loneliness and isolation and um, also the kind of experience of someone who has come from a really rural um, sort of insular background trying to find a place in a city and how um, like she seeks out like graveyards to go and lie and just like be with the grass and be on her own because cities have so few like green spaces and the green spaces they have feel really artificial to her compared to um, like reality. And I think one of the things I liked about this book most was the, the fact it sort of centred around this driving experience. So um, you probably don't know this, but I don't drive and driving is something that absolutely terrifies me. Like I'm properly phobic of driving um, and I'm, I've set myself some tasks over between now and December basically that I have to try and have a go at this year. And one of them is to try and start to drive again. Um, and the whole thing is really scary, like even when I'm talking about it now it's not very nice, but reading this helped me in that, so I think it gained, the book gained a few plus points in that like it was kind of helping me address something very personal, which obviously I know you guys aren't going to get, um, but I did think that because it's something I, I relate to quite strongly, like capturing the idea of being like afraid of it and feeling like you haven't done it yet and feeling like it limits what you can do, like I felt like that was done really well because I, I really felt as though that kind of mirrored my own experience. Um, I think overall it's it's something that isn't it certainly isn't gonna blow you away. It's very slow, it's as I say, it's very technically good, which I think is why it would have reached into the man bookers, because with the man bookers I feel as though they have books that are really out there and and will just pull you along and that absolutely blow you away. Um, and then you have books that are almost flawless in the execution and I feel like this is probably one that is a book that they've looked for that um, a lack of errors and sort of wholeness as a piece rather than it being something that necessarily pulls you away. Um, that said it was quite funny, it was, it was sad, um, maybe other people would find something a little bit more in it but um, it wasn't going to be my favourite one and I would probably hope that this one doesn't make it onto the shortlist just because there's a few other things I think are really exciting in there. Um, but yeah, see what you think of it. Um, 
if it sounds like something that's interesting to you but I probably wouldn't recommend picking this one up unless you're interested in it already because um, I don't know there's too much there to find but yeah so hopefully that has been helpful and you've learned a little bit more about um, motion shoulder signal um, if you've already read this one and you want to share some comments or some thoughts then please feel free to do so down below um, and if you disagree that would be great too because I always want to know like differing opinions on, on books um, and stuff. The next one I'm going to be reading and reviewing is um, A Horse Walks Into a Bar by David Graceman. I am halfway through that one at the moment um, and will be hopefully finishing that one off um, in the next few days so going to be putting a review of that every five days I think um, but hopefully we'll have that one up for you next um, and I'll see you I'll see you soon in my next video whatever that ends up being all right bye bye <laughs>